Chương trình này được bảo trợ bởi Family Joy tổ ấm y tế của mọi gia đình 714 898 0765. Hi, welcome to the OC Health and Education Show on Little Saigon TV. I'm your host Julie Yip. To us, OC stands for our community because we believe that a community is stronger when we come together. Thank you for joining us each Tuesday evening on Channel 56.10 and on Wednesday morning. As you know, this is a bilingual English and Vietnamese program dedicated to educating, empowering, and inspiring our community. And on our show today, we have the president of the Strawberry Festival, Andrea Perez, and also the, the director of the nonprofit food booth, Tony Lopez. We're going to be able to talk about all the great, amazing thing that's happening in the city of Garden Grove on Memorial Day weekend. Julie Yip, kính chào quý vị khán giả của Little Saigon TV. Trong chương trình kiến thức y khoa, gia đình và xã hội, chương trình OC Health and Education là chương trình song ngữ. Julie hy vọng quý vị sẽ theo dõi chương trình mỗi thứ ba lúc 7 giờ tối và sáng thứ tư. Julie hy vọng là đem thông tin để cho quý vị biết về ở trong thành phố Garden Grove trên Memorial Day weekend. Hôm nay Julie mời được hai người quý khách. Trước nhất đó là um, Andrew Perez, the president of the Strawberry Festival, and also Tony Lopez, the director of um, Nonprofit Food Booth. Welcome to the show. Hi, Julie. Thank you for having me. I'm Andrea Perez, and I'm excited to be here. I um, appreciate Little Saigon TV helping us to promote the festival coming up this Memorial Day weekend. 63 years. Wow. That's exciting. Yes. That's amazing. Well, thank you so much for being on the show, Andrea. We're so excited to learn about all the amazing thing that's going on in Garden Grove on Memorial Day weekend. And Tony, welcome to the show. Well, thank you for having me, Julie. It's a pleasure to be here. And thanks to uh, Little Saigon TV for uh, allowing us to promote our festival. You know, so you know, Strawberry, I mean, Garden Grove is a city that I live in, where I raise my children, and where we have a created so many beautiful memories at the Strawberry Festival. So tell me a little bit about yourself, Andrea, and how you became the president of this great organization. <laughs> uh, I started with the festival about seven years ago. I was brought on as the director of, actually an associate for the director of publicity. And then that following year, I became a director. Yes. And I love being able to do this. I don't know how she does it, Tony. I don't know. <laughs> now, Tony, yeah. when, 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 as you're the director of um, the, the civic, nonprofit. Yeah, nonprofit food booth. Okay. So, so we work with the community. We work with the uh, Garden Grove High School, Los Alamitos, uh, uh, Rancho Alamitos High School, um, the Kiwanis, the Garden Grove uh, Emblem Club. And they, that's their biggest fundraiser for the year. So oh. the Strawberry Festival really supports that, and, and that's when they can go and help the community as well with, with those fundraising that they do. Well, thank you so much for making sure that all of our nonprofits that serves Garden Grove, that are in Garden Grove, can continue to provide so many valuable program services for all the children, the families, the seniors. I just don't know how you guys do it, but I know this is an event that all of us put our, our hard work and sweat and tears in to make sure it's successful. So I appreciate you both for being here. Uh, Julie, muốn cảm ơn quý vị hôm nay đã theo dõi chương trình. Trước nhất, Julie muốn giới thiệu cho quý vị đó là Andrew, per um, Andrew Perez, là president of the Garden Grove Strawberry Festival. Andrew Perez là hầu sự là làm cũng 7 năm rồi, có 7 năm kinh nghiệm. Mà năm đây là Andrew làm president của cái, cái festival. Trong cái festival là có rất nhiều cái chương trình. Tại bữa nay Andrew nói đó là muốn giới thiệu cho quý vị là, là cũng có ba cái chương trình. Trước nhất là the, the Special Children's Day là thứ năm cũng có strawberry parade and then the strawberry festival là chắc strawberry festival là bốn ngày luôn là thứ um, là thứ thứ sáu thứ bảy chủ nhật and thứ hai luôn so I was just mentioning to 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 the to the audience that you know you have so much on your mind and there's so many events that's going on and I just mentioned that only the three events but there's even more events in addition to that yes yeah, so if I could just say we do have the special neat special children's day on Thursday where we invite Um, GGUSD students and other students from the different districts oh. that come around for a special day on Thursday that we open the festival early for them. We treat them to hot dogs and oh. dessert and lemonade. They get to go on some of the rides and they look forward to this event all year long. Um, and then Friday is our opening ceremony where we have a giant cake. We give out 2,000 pieces of cake wow. free to the people that come. We introduce all of our celebrities, all of our special elected guests. 
Um, and then Saturday is our parade where we have 22 celebrities lined up this year with our... That's amazing. And I'm so excited. We have our Grand Marshal this year is Vera Jimenez, who grew up in Garden Grove. She's the KTLA meteorologist. Um, I said grew up in LA. She grew up in Garden Grove. Oh. And she graduated from Garden Grove. So she's homegrown Garden Grove. Wow. Her family still lives here. And then our theme Grand Marshal is Tony Atkins. Yes. He is the dancing doctor from Chalk Children's Hospital who brings joy and happiness, dances with his patients. So I'm very excited about this year and um, I'm excited for everyone to come to visit our festival. Just, I can't wait for it to, to be here. I know it's gonna be an amazing event and I'm gonna try my best to remember all of the things <laughs> that she's telling me. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that, that's great. I mean, I can hear the excitement in your voice, but I think I, I got this. Um, <laughs> So, um, Drew only muốn cảm ơn cho quý vị. Hôm nay mình cũng muốn uh, một lần nữa giới thiệu cho chương trình. Um, Andrea nói rất là rất có rất nhiều chương trình. Trước nhất là thứ thứ năm là một cái ngày đặc biệt cho um, cổ học khu Garden Grove cho mấy em mà uh, trong cái lớp giáo dục đặc biệt để cho tới cái đây là một cái ngày mình kêu là Inclusion Day và a lot of accommodation cho mấy em khuyết tật. Thì mình để để dành cho uh, mấy em tới thì cũng không có đông lắm mà đúng có được được, được lên cái ride for free được có ăn đồ ăn and có về có hội của ông Julie cũng tới đó cũng có um, con mắm kỳ con khỉ với cũng có nhiều cái uh, cosplay from uh, kids can cosplay sẽ tới tham dự luôn uh, thì thấy thấy là rất là vui Andrew cũng muốn muốn um, mời quý vị tới tham dự là ngày thứ sáu là Friday là opening ceremony lúc đó quý vị chỉ nào quý vị tới thứ sáu là có bánh ăn vui về cái strawberry là một cái um, quan trọng nhất trong thành phố Garden Grove and then th thứ sáu uh, thứ bảy xin lỗi là cái strawberry parade So lúc đó là mình sẽ thấy có nhiều người diễn hành để cho tới um, làm uh, cái celebration trong thành phố Garden Grove của mình. I think I got, oh yeah, I one last you. one is uh, Vera Jimenez. And so, um, Andrew cũng nhớ nhắc nhở cho mình là cũng có một cái Grand Marshal là Vera Jimenez là một cái người news reporter của KTLA. Cổ là um, sống ở, ở, ở thành phố Garden Grove, lớn lên ở thành phố Garden Grove. Mà cũng có một cái người là um, The Theme Marshal, The Grand Marshal đó là Tony Atkins, đó là người bác sĩ. Um, rất cái nhiều cái hình trên YouTube hay, hay mình lên uh, social media là kêu bằng là The Dancing Doctor. So cho nào quý vị tới sẽ có rất nhiều người celebrity uh, tham dự cái chương trình đây. I am so excited. I'm just trying to remember everything, but I think I got everything. <laughs> now, Tony. I want you to tell us a little bit more about all the nonprofit that benefits from this event and what it takes to be a director. Well, uh, being a director, it's it's really uh, handed down from uh, from director to director to to associate and then to uh, for people in the community that I want to be able to help and that are going to be able to be able to work together with a big group because a big group of directors that wow. that work with the Story Festival Association. So it's. It's an honor to be part of it, and it's very hard to get in there too. <laughs> but as a nonprofit organization, because we are we work with the uh, Garden Grove Elks Lodge, okay. and and I'm a past president for the Garden Grove Elks Lodge as well. And the benefits that we get from being in the in the festival are immense because we the the funding that we get from them we can, then we can help support our veterans, wow. our children with disabilities. Uh, we can help our uh, do scholarships for our our high school seniors in Garden Grove. So all of the funding that we get, it goes back to the community. So we really appreciate your, uh, you know, the people's help to be able to uh, buy the food from us, and so we can, you know, help the community. Afterwards. But you also mentor so many nonprofit that serves Garden Grove too. Correct. Yes. Yeah, so we have, uh, like I said, we have the uh, Boys and Girls Club. Uh, so they are part of the uh, the nonprofit food booth. Okay. Uh, Kiwanis Land is part of that. Uh, the Lions uh, International are part of it. So and so those organizations, the the funding that they get, it's always going back to the community. So that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you for all all that you both do and for your leadership in this community. Uh, Julie, muốn cảm ơn quý vị đã theo dõi chương trình kiến thức y khoa gia đình và xã hội. Hôm nay mình uh, sau phần mình muốn cáo mình sẽ hiểu thêm về chương trình của uh, Garden Grove Strawberry Festival Parade and so many other events on Memorial Day weekend. Julie, cảm ơn quý vị. Khán giả của Little Saigon TV. Chương trình này được bảo trợ bởi Family Joy tổ ấm y tế của mọi gia đình 714 898 0765. Hi, 
welcome back to the OC Health and Education Show on Little Saigon TV. I'm your host, Julia Yip. We're going to continue our conversation with the president of the Strawberry, of the Garden Grove Strawberry Festival, Andrew Perez, and also the director of the nonprofit food booth, Tony Lopez. We, in the, for the first segment, we learned so much about all the amazing things that's happening in Garden Grove. But I want to um, let the audience know what to expect if they have never been to the Strawberry Festival. Because I know every year my kids want to go to Strawberry Festival when they were young. They wanted the bracelet so they can go on unlimited rides. <laughs> but, you know, as they get older, they love the food. They just want money to go and splurge a little bit. Mm -hmm. So tell me, what does your family, what have your family done in the past at the, at the festival? Well, if I could say um, my daughter uh, is Strawberry, so I have to give a shout out to my daughter oh, who yes. is the Strawberry mascot. The official mascot. Uh, the official mascot, so um, she brings a lot of life to it. And, you know, she likes to go on the rides. We would go every weekend. We would go, when she was a baby, we would go watch the parade. Yes. Every year we would go watch the parade, um, probably until she was seven or eight or nine. And... Then she would go on the ride. She loved going to the festival to participate and just be there. I just love that, you know, every year when we see the Strawberry uh, Festival going on, that you see all of the Garden Grove residents walking around. Yeah. I think that's such an amazing <laughs> thing to see. Now, Tony, what are your beautiful <clears throat> memories of the Strawberry Festival? Well, one of the things is, especially when you being a child, is that it's free to go in there. Yes, there's, there's no, no admission, admission fee. fee. Yeah. So you can just walk around, enjoy, and see, you know, see the the different games that they have and, and be part of it. Uh, so for me, that was uh, the main thing. And also being able to hang around with my friends from high school and, and just walk around, get on some other rides. Uh, so it was fun. It was, that was a, one of the funnest memories. And my children are going through the same you know, stages as well. Uh -huh. So before they were with us, with, with mom and dad, and now that they're getting older, they're like, all right, see you later. Just give me some money. <laughs> Well, I know during the commercial break, you mentioned you were kind of a jock in high school. Well, so you probably won a lot of prizes too, right? Well, I was, uh, yeah. <laughs> He's so modest. <laughs> so, I, so can you tell us when is the Strawberry Festival and how many days is it? So Strawberry Festival is Memorial Day weekend, which is May 26th through May 29th. Okay. It runs Friday through Monday. And our hours are, um, we close at, we start, we open at 1 o'clock on Friday afternoon. We close at 10 p.m. and then Saturday and Sunday we open from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. and Monday 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Wow. And like Tony said, um, it is a free event, so you, the whole family can come for free. You can enter the contests that we have. We also have some live co um, concerts with bands that start at 6 p.m. in the Garden Amp. Wow. Um, we have vendors that you can go look at. You can purchase things if you'd like. You don't have to spend money. You can just come to the festival and walk around and enjoy everything that's happening at the festival. Sometimes people just like to come at night for the photo op. And the lights are just beautiful. Yes. Julie muốn mời quý vị tới tham dự cái Strawberry Festival. Đó là ngày 26, là thứ sáu tới thứ hai trong cái Memorial Day weekend. Đây là bốn ngày rất là đặc biệt. là Admission là free, không có phải trả vé để cho vào. Mình tới mình tới có nhiều rất nhiều rides, có nhiều cái game cho mấy trẻ em. Cũng có rất nhiều đồ ăn. Mình chưa thấy là hồi nhỏ mấy con em thì luôn luôn mua cái cái bracelet để cho unlimited ride. Muốn là, đúng chơi cả ngày cũng được Thì thấy là rất là cho vui cho trẻ em và gia đình Thì mình cũng thấy rất là mình Chỉ nào mình có thời gian Mình tới tham dự Andrea muốn mời quý vị tới Rất là nhiều cái vendor Cũng có một cái kêu bằng cái concert At the Garden Amp Thì mình trong cái, cái, cái cuối tuần đó Có rất là nhiều chương trình miễn phí Mà chỉ nào mình muốn xài chút tiền ủng hộ mọi hội tự thiện Và hội phi lô nhuận Giúp cho cộng đồng của mình Về trong thành phố Garden Grove Thì hi, hi vọng quý vị mua đồ ăn Về tới giúp rất nhiều um, um, Tony muốn nói đó là cũng có là Kiwanis Land Có Elks Club Có Booster của um, Rancho um, Alameda High School Có Boys and Girls Club Có rất nhiều non-profit organization Chỉ nào quý vị mua đồ ăn Thì ủng hộ rất nhiều organization Để cho giúp cho cộng đồng của mình I just want to remind them that you know When they do come And they enjoy all the food It goes to helping the community directly And these organizations throughout the year So what does it feel like to be able to empower and make sure that all these nonprofits can also survive and serve the community. I, I think it's amazing because our, so most people 
don't know that the Garden Grove Strawberry Festival is a nonprofit organization. So what we do is the money that we raise, we give back to the community. So oh. we help nonprofits by having them have food booths. They have game booths, like yes. OC Autism has a game booth. Um, people that participate raise money for their funds. And then at the end of the year, after the festival's over, we give back over $100,000 wow. to com to nonprofits in our community. So additional that, grants? Yes. Wow. Yes, additional grants that help uh, Garden Grove citizens. So it's a kind of a win-win situation. It's amazing to be a part of such a great organization that gives back to the community. I mean, yeah. it's such an honor for me just to be a resident of Garden Grove and to see that leaders like yourself are putting so much time, effort, and energy to empower and make sure that we strengthen our community. It's so just so beautiful to see it because, you know, I was talking to you and you said, well, you know, I was asking you, how, what should I call you, Andrea or Andrea? And you said, there's so many nicknames and you, you can always call me Jules because, you know, when we are friends in the community, we can just call each other for whatever we need. And I appreciate you um, feeling so comfortable to call me anytime if you need anything. And I think that's one thing about Garden Grove. It's a city of just neighborly people and this closeness and this richness. And it's just a melting pot, isn't it, Tony? It is, it is. Yes. So tell me, Tony, you know, when you help nonprofits and, and your work at the Elves Club, even as a past president, what are some of the philanthropic works you've done uh, specifically to help the community? Well, we support the, um, the veterans. So we do a stand down at, at the Elks Lodge, we have a park, at uh -huh. the, and we're on New Hope and Trask. And there's a big park. It's a private park that it, it's owned by the Elks, and so we do different things that that help with the with the community. You know, we do a stand down with the veterans. We also have a flag retirement day. Wow! And we invite all the veterans to to have free dinner on on the Elks. Oh. So uh, and so we can honor the flag and honor them as, as veterans. And Memorial Day is such an important day to honor our veterans. Correct. Um, yes. You know, just last week I was in D.C. and I went to the Vietnam War Memorial. And just to see that just pulls my heartstring. Yes. Yes. To see so many names on the wall and so many families and servicemen and women that sacrificed for our freedom and all of the, the, the benefits and just to be part of this, this country. Yeah. So I think Memorial Day is not just for a day for us to do um, celebration and parades and strawberry festival, but also to, to remember all those who have served. Yes. And, you know, as the Elks, we have a saying that as long as there's a veteran in need, there's an Elk there to support. Oh, yeah. I love that. So as long as there's a veteran in need, there's an Elk to support. Correct. Well, thank you so much for all that you do. Um, Cảm ơn quý vị khán giả của Little Saigon TV. Hôm nay mình có thời gian nói chuyện với Andrew Perez, là president of the Garden Girl Strawberry Festival, and Tony um, Lopez, là director of non-profit food booth. Tony chia sẻ với mình là Elks Club, là, uh, Tony là hồi xưa là past president of Elks Club, mà Elks Club là chú ý về giúp cho veterans để cho um, trong cái, cái Memorial Day weekend mà cũng có rất cái nhiều chương trình cho giúp cho mấy em uh, trong giáo dược đặc biệt uh, cũng provide therapy. But uh, mình thấy rất là Tony nhắc nhở quý vị đó là veteran, uh, Tony nói đó là as long as that there's a veteran, there's an elk to support. So luôn luôn uh, Elks Club muốn ủng hộ veteran của mình mà giúp cho cộng đồng của mình về làm cái, có cái ultimate sacrifice cho giúp cho mình uh, trong Memorial Day. Memorial Day weekend là không phải một cái tuần để cho mình có celebration, strawberry festival, hay làm parade mà cũng phải nhớ mọi người uh, veteran mà giúp cho mình trong Memorial Day. Cảm ơn quý vị khán giả. Go Little Saigon TV. Chương trình này được bảo trợ bởi Family Joy tổ ấm y tế của mọi gia đình 714 898 0765. Hi, 
Welcome back to the OC Health and Education Show on Little Saigon TV. I'm your host, Julie Yip. Today, we learned so many, learned so many about so many events that's happening in Garden Grove on Memorial Day weekend and all the great benefits that the Strawberry Festival helps for the community. And I know that Andrea and um, Tony is here with us to represent the leadership circle, but they cannot do this alone. So Andrea, I know you, you said, yeah, I don't want to take all the credit for this. There's so many directors that is going to work to that has been working together to make this this event successful. Can you tell me what what it takes to pull this event off? So if I could just say, this is our 63rd year doing the festival. It wow, started 63rd. Back, yes, it started back in 1958. And it was started by, uh, actually the chamber started it, and then they decided not to do it. So a group of citizens formed the association, wow. and it's been going on. So currently we have 21 different directors. Each director has their own position. So we have a, we have a parade director, we have the nonprofit food director, we have you know PR, we have the special children's day director. Everyone does their own um, job, and that team comes together to create the Garden Grove Strawberry Festival. That's amazing. Yeah, so it's it's a it's a team effort, and it's 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 an event that you do not want to miss because so much goes into it, and it's such a great fun weekend. So you said there's 21 different directors. directors. And, sorry, I forgot to mention, they also have an associate. So each director has an associate that helps them with their position. Wow. So under each of those, there's probably an, another team and so many people involved. That's an amazing thing. Yes. And what about you, Tony? So I know that, you know, she has all these directors and you're one of the many directors. Yes. And for, as a director, you're in, you're, your responsibility is to also empower and help other nonprofits. So, so what are some of the nonprofits, again, that are going to be there that, that you help? And what are some of the amazing food that, that that's going to be provided? Yeah, that's the fun part. Uh, so, like I said, the, the supporting the nonprofit uh, food uh, vendors, uh, we have uh, Garden Grove Kiwanis who have the funnel cake that we have lines and lines. Yes. And it, it doesn't never stops. Um, we have Rancho Alamitos that does the tri-tip sandwiches. Um, we have the Garden Grove uh, High School Baseball Booster that they do the carne asada tacos and, and, um, and chicken tacos. Um, Kiwanis, again, they do uh, corn on the cob, um, Garden Grove, uh, that Lions Club, they do hot dogs, chili dogs, wow. really, really good. Um, we have the um, Garden Grove uh, Instrument a Booster, uh, they do strawberry cheesecake slices, strawberry smoothies, so it, things that to do with the strawberry because of the strawberry <laughs> festival, of course. Uh, the Assistance League of Garden Grove also helps us with it, they do the nachos. Um, they stuff in jalapenos, ice yeah. cream, uh, or, or... My mouth is watering. I'm just giving those whole mess. <laughs> <laughs> then we have the Boys and Girls Club who do the uh, Italian ice, strawberry, lemonade, and bottled water. Uh, we have the uh, Emblem, the uh, Garden Grove Emblem Club in, of Garden Grove. They do hamburgers and cheeseburgers. Uh, awesome. And then we have Job Starters who do the strawberry shortcake. Wow. It's on the corner. They always, I mean, it's about an hour's wait to get them, but it's worth it every single minute. And we have a new, uh, a new nonprofit organization that is called Nothing Mag, who they, they are partnered with the, uh, um, um, with the uh, Garden Amphitheater, and they have a kitchen there that they're going to be selling uh, fried chicken. Wow. So, That's yeah. a rich menu. It now, when, when someone comes to this event and buys food from these nonprofits, do you guys take a, a portion of that, or no. wh where does the money go? The money goes back to the community. They, wow. they those, those nonprofits, that's their... They get to keep 100%. 100%, yes. That's amazing. And, and whatever they do with the money, that's on them. But we don't, we charge the, the just the rental fee, which is, uh, it's a just minimum a setup. amount. Yeah, it's a minimum uh -huh. amount. And what, if they may... You know, thousand or twenty thousand dollars. That's that's that goes to them. Wow. So, uh, we, so just a reminder: everybody who goes to the strawberry festival, who buys food and enjoys the, the, uh, this amazing menu from all the nonprofits, the nonprofit gets to benefit from it and also serve the community. Correct. Yeah. So anything that you buy there, you, you're helping the community as well because that money goes back to the community. 
Wow, that's just so amazing. I'm just so excited about the food. Yes. <laughs> I am too. <laughs> I, I love the funnel cake because that's what I line up for every year. Yes. And you know, my, both my kids are in the band, so they're part of the, the Rancho Alamitos band oh, and awesome. part of the booster. Ooh. So I know, you know, it, it's exciting to see that, you know, even my kids can benefit directly. Yes. Yes. You know, so when yes. they were young, they were just there to enjoy the rides, and now they get to run the booth and then volunteer and, and, and give back. Yes. And we have a lot of volunteers. I mean, the. Those nonprofits get a lot of volunteers, either from high school kids or, or you know, children yeah. or, or members of the, the, those associations. Yeah. And, and they don't get paid. And right. neither do the directors. We are all volunteers. So all volunteer. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is just a great city, a great community of people Correct. coming together. Correct. Well, thank you so much for sharing that and, and sharing the extensive menu. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Julie Moon, um, cảm ơn quý vị hôm nay đã theo dõi chương trình kiến thức y khoa gia đình và xã hội. Julie Moon mời quý vị tới tham dự chương trình của uh, Strawberry Festival, the Garden Girl Strawberry Festival, the 63rd annual. Đây là năm ngày 63 năm làm cái chương trình này. Andrew chia sẻ với mình đó là hồi xưa đây là cổ phần cái chamber, but sau đó um, mỗi người trong cộng đồng thấy là rất là quan trọng thì vẫn tiếp tục cái chương trình này tạo ra được cái Garden Girl um, Strawberry Festival Association. Um, Andrew nói đó là trong cái mỗi người mà tới à, mỗi cái non profit mà có mấy cái booth đây dùng um, Tony share là được giữ cái tiền một trăm phần trăm cái tiền làm về fundraiser and then sau cái strawberry festival lúc mà họ um, tính toán xong hết đó nên vẫn uh, donate lại một trăm ngàn dollar để cho giúp cho Garden Grove um, non profit and grants so Julie thấy đó là cái chương trình đây về cái strawberry festival là một cái weekend mình tới về celebration thấy là vui cho gia đình mà cũng được giúp lại cộng đồng của mình tình thấy là cái chương trình rất là ý nghĩa À, hôm nay Tony nói với mình đó là trong cái menu đây có rất nhiều đồ ăn, có nacho, có bắp, có, có hot dog, có steak, đủ thứ hết. Chị nào quý vị tới tham dự thì um, xin mua đồ ăn của mấy cái non-profit đây, một cái chương, um, chương trình um, phi lợi nhuận đây để cho giúp mấy trẻ em và giúp cho cộng đồng của mình. I'm so excited to just remind everybody and to invite everybody to come participate. Now, if they want to know more about the Strawberry Festival, is there a website, a phone number, Or somebody we can bother to get more information? So, Andrea? <laughs> <laughs> We're asking whether we can get your phone number out. <laughs> no phone number, but you can email me. It's okay. um, president at strawberryfestival.org. We also have a website. It's um, strawberryfestival.org. We have uh, Instagram. You can follow us on Instagram. You can follow us on Twitter and on Facebook. And um, if I could just say, um, I want to thank our sponsors. We do have a, a lot of sponsors, Little Saigon TV. You can show one that. Of them. And I was going to say, we also have this new program that we created this year. You can find um, the food that Tony talked about. You can find all the sponsors on the back. And where can we get this program? Where would it be available in the city? So the program is going to be placed throughout the city. There's some at City Hall right now. We are going to have them at the festival, but... Um, Kind of like a hide and seek, you have to find it. You have to go <laughs> check out some of the um, restaurants. You'll, you'll find this. We can. You'll also find it online. So we're going to put it on our website. So be sure to visit our website for all the information. Wow, you know, and this is such an upgrade from the years past because I know so you said it's full colored and you get to see all the celebrity oh, that's celebrity. in here, the layout, the maps. I mean, there are just so many things in here, and I, I love that. You know, when Tony was mentioning all the food. We can, it's, a, it's listed in here, right? Yes, so we can yes. see all the organizations and get to see all of the directors involved too. So for sure, if you, uh, you're you interested in getting the uh, program book, you, they can come to the city hall. Yes. yes. Okay. Now, Tony, is there any um, words as we go to a commercial break? Well, I just want to have, uh, invite everybody to be at the uh, Garden Grove, uh, I mean, uh, the Sorry Festival, because it is a fun event. It's family oriented and you definitely will have a good time. And, and we... Thank you for your support. Uh, Julie, cảm ơn quý vị khán giả của Little Saigon TV. Hôm nay uh, mình hiểu thêm về cái Strawberry Festival, về cái chương trình rất là ý nghĩa giúp cho rất nhiều um, non-profit organization trong thành phố Garden Grove on Memorial Day weekend ngày 26 đến ngày 29 là từ thứ 6 tới thứ 2. So four days of activities and four days of festivity. Rất có nhiều cái chương trình miễn phí mà chỉ nói quý vị có thời gian, có lòng muốn giúp uh, mọi cái trung tâm phi lợi nhuận xin vui lòng À, tới tham dự cái chương trình à, có rất nhiều rides, có game về có nhiều đồ ăn. So mấy cái đồ ăn, mấy cái food booth á, là để, để mấy cái non profit về, về cái game booth cũng có nhiều cái non profit. Những cái non profit của Julie là về OC Autism cũng có một cái booth mình chơi mình cái một trăm phần trăm cái tiền mà mình mình um, fundraise sẽ giúp lại cộng đồng của mình. 
chú lê cảm ơn quý vị khán giả tô lê đô sài gòn tv chương trình này được bảo trợ bởi family joy tổ ấm y tế của mọi gia đình bảy một bốn tám chín tám bảy sáu năm Hi, welcome back to the OC Health and Education Show on Little Saigon TV. I'm your host, Julie Yip. We're going to continue our conversation about the Garden Grow Strawberry Festival Parade. Just so many things that's going on. And that's the main reason why I'm wearing this outfit. <laughs> <laughs> this is a thing that I have to dust out every year to make sure. I, you know, I, I just, I'm so happy and so proud to be a Garden Grow resident. But more importantly, proud to have... You know, make new friend, no, make friends and make new friends in the community to have this partnership to do so much. Um, I know throughout the program we mentioned that there are so many things going on, but if you could, Andrea, recap what to expect this weekend, and I know you can't remember everything, <laughs> but just the gist of it. Yes. Okay. So I will do my best here. So um, starting Thursday, we offer a special kids' day, and that's um, by invitation only. And then on Friday, we have our opening ceremony and cake cutting. So we introduce all of the celebrities, all the VIPs. We have a gigantic cake that feeds 2,000 people and we give out 2,000 pieces of cake um, that day. And then that's evening at six o'clock. So at the, at the intersection of Maine and Acacia on the showmobile. And then Saturday morning is our parade, starts at 10 a.m. But prior to the parade is the Strawberry Stomp 5K, which is put on by the Garden Grove Sister City Association. So if you're a runner, it's not too late to sign up for that. So, and after the run, you can come visit our, watch our parade at 10 o'clock. We also have a VIP breakfast that happens prior to that. And then after the parade, you know, it's time to, to go out and enjoy the festival. There's concerts, there's contests, there's games, there's vendors. We're going to have selfie, um, I didn't mention this, oh. <laughs> opportunities to take selfies. Uh, uh, like step and repeat banners, so uh, there's just so much going on. That... Is there also a meet and greet for the celebrities? Thank you. Yes, there is. Um, so about 12:30, there is going to be a meet and greet. Um, and that's after the parade, right? Autograph signing. Yes, it's okay. after the parade. After they get a chance to uh, unwind, to have a little bit of lunch, then they'll come out about 12:30 at the Courtyard Center and um, do some autograph signing. Can I show the page? Yes. So we have this um, page for the. Celebrities. Oh, I, I see one of my friends there, William Hung William from Hung. American Idol. <laughs> <laughs> so we're very excited about 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 this festival this year. Well, thank you so much. I'm going to try again recap this. So, <laughs> Julie, muốn muốn mời quý vị một lần nữa tới tới cái chương trình uh, của um, thành phố Garden Grove thứ năm là một cái là Special Children's Day là một cái ngày để dành cho mấy em trong chương trình của giáo dục đặc biệt của thành phố Garden Grove về về học khu Garden Grove về học khu cầm kế bên. Thêm nữa là ngày thứ thứ sáu là Friday là có là opening ceremony là cake cutting um, ceremony là lúc lúc táo là sáu giờ tối à, thứ bảy là một có cái strawberry parade and then sau cái parade mình có một cái um, autograph signing với mấy cái celebrity mà sẽ tới đó cũng and cũng trong cái cuốn sách đây trong cái program book là chừng nào quý vị có thời gian pick up ở trong um, thành phố Garden Grove và chỗ City Hall cũng mình có thể cho mấy em tới um, autograph với với mọi người um, Andre cũng nói là có một cái uh, step and repeat là kiểu chụp hình làm sau ti so rất nhiều cái chương trình để cho mình mình tới tham dự um, từ thứ um, 6 ngày 26 tới ngày 29 là thứ uh, tới thứ hai là Memorial Day weekend at the Strawberry um, Festival So I'm so excited. I think I got everything. And you know, for, for what we're going to do is we're going to have to remind everybody, make sure they come and bring bring their money. And is it, I think a lot of time it's cash, right? For, yes. for, for the nonprofit yeah, booth, the that's nonprofit what I think it was. Yes, yes, it's mainly cash, yes. Yeah, so I think a lot of times for the booth, you know, when we come, because sometimes, you know, we're, we're so in, used to just bringing our cards, but for yeah. helping the nonprofits, a food booth, I want to remind everybody to bring their cash and to to help the, these nonprofits and and buy from them and enjoy the the great um the great weekend. Yes. And yes. and I also want to say there are ATMs on the site. Okay, so if you perfect. Cash at home, you can get money from the ATMs. Thank you. <laughs> See, I guess the little things like that. So, those of us who are residents, we we kind of know the little tricks. Yes. Right. And make sure that we can enjoy all of these. Correct. Yes. 
Now, what is your favorite food that or favorite food that that, that in the past in oh. years past? <laughs> All of it. <laughs> Gotta visit every single one of them. <laughs> He doesn't want to choose. It's kind of like asking him who's it, his yeah. favorite exactly, child. Exactly. <laughs> yes. So you're not willing to pick your favorite child. No, no, no. <laughs> No, I think all the food is really good. Uh, you can enjoy it. It's uh, it's priced right, so very it, affordable yes, too. Yes, yes, yeah, and nice. um, it's very good. Um, it's, throughout the day, they're open from the beginning of the carnival to the end uh, each day, so you don't have to wait for them to open. They're they're gonna be ready for you anytime you get there, and uh, yes, support it. Um, not only just the uh, the food, but also we have the uh, the uh, nonprofit games booths as well yes so and that is the same thing the money that they make it goes to their organizations to support like the high schools that's you know the uh, instrumental uh boosters you know this helps them to buy uniforms you know helps them to buy (laughs) instruments so it may not go to the community but it goes to the school itself because some of the children you know they can't afford it so that's how they 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 are able to afford their their uniforms and their instruments well i there i want to share a pro tip though because, you know, with the food, sometimes I go right before, just when they open, because there's yes. no line. Yes. <laughs> right? Because sometimes when you wait too long, the yes. line is an hour, as yes, you mentioned, yes. for, for, the, for the food booth. Yes. You know, so uh, thank you so much for, for being here, both for sharing um, your, your, your time and to, for serving our, our, our Garden Grove community and surrounding. Um, as we close out the program, Andrea, is there anything you want to say or in, in, invite people about the event? Yes, um, I just want to thank you for opening um, the show to us to come out and promote this festival. It's an honor. We love our community. We love you. We love what you're doing. We thank our sponsors for sponsoring us. Um, please, you won't want to miss this event. It'll be a, a great time. Um, so just come out, come out and enjoy yourself. Bring your family and have a great time. I know the the Little Saigon TV station is going to cover the event too. So we're so excited that they're a part of the the media sponsor too. Yes, yeah. us too. Thank you. Well, I just it's the same thing as Sandra said. You know, we we're volunteer uh, people that help the community. Then we love our city, we love our community, and we love to support those those organizations that need help. So and that's why that was that's what drives us. So please come and support the uh, the Strider Festival. Enjoy the rides, enjoy the food, enjoy all the vendors that are selling all the different items in, on the street, and have a good time. You know we have a free concerts, uh, so come and enjoy the music if you if you like music. Well, yes. thank you so much for being here. Can I just say one other thing? Yes. I want to thank my family. Oh, I have to my husband and my daughter because I have put so much energy into this, so much time. And which take has takes away. Yes. But um, I appreciate them and I love them. So, you know, I just want to thank them. You know, because we, we, we for... can't do all that we do in the community without the support of our spouse and our yeah. children. Yeah. For their understanding, for the days that we miss dinner or the yeah. days that we can't go to some of their performances at school. <clears throat> you know, so I know as much as I do in the community, too, I know I can't do this stuff without my husband. Yeah. I mean, he wants me to, to let everybody know that he's an amazing guy. I don't tell him that, but he actually is. <laughs> yes, I yes. totally agree. Yes. Do you have anybody too. else of mentioned course, the thing? Of course, I have to. Otherwise, I, I can go home. <laughs> no, I, yeah, same thing with my wife and my, my two daughters and my son. You know, right. I really appreciate their support. Mm-hmm. And it is a sacrifice that they make. Right. But they, they know what we're trying to Once do. Once a year, we do a little bit more. Correct. Yeah. Well, yeah. thank you so much for being here. Julie, cảm ơn quý vị khán giả của Little Sài Gòn TV đã theo dõi chương trình kiến thức y khoa gia đình và xã hội. Chỉ nào quý vị có thời gian, please visit um, strawberryfestival.org. Một lần nữa, website là strawberryfestival.org. Quý vị có thể tới um, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all the social media thì quý vị có thể có thông tin mới. Um, Julie, cảm ơn quý vị rất nhiều đã ủng hộ chương trình kiến thức y khoa gia đình và xã hội. Chúc quý vị rất nhiều sức khỏe và may mắn. Cảm ơn quý vị.